it's kind of traditional at this time of year to do a review of what happened last year and I've looked at my output from last year and I've got one searing conclusion. I was right. We did two extended special episodes of Music Kate last year and in both cases new things have come to light that reinforce what I was saying. The first one, we did a special about the fact that when the pandemic struck, the government's pathetic and invalid excuse was, oh, we didn't know what was happening, the health service wasn't ready for it. But we absolutely know what the next global crisis is going to be, it's climate change, and therefore we should be looking ahead and making sure that the fire and rescue service is well funded and well structured and in a good place to tackle what happens there, and we established that we weren't. Since then, guess what has come to back me up? Facts. So, a Freedom of Information request has recently revealed that during Ju June, July and August of 2022, there were four times as many wildfires as there were in the previous year. Perhaps not surprising given the searing uh, heat wave that we went through. But yeah, fire and rescue services were being called out. That's just only counting 25,000, only counting the ones which fire and rescue services had to actually go and attend. Some fire services were actually on the in the peak of the heat wave, were actually tackling 50 wildfires a day. And yet, as I mentioned at the time, the funding to the fire and rescue service has actually dropped by 15% since Think of a time when you would have started cutting fire and rescue service funding. The Grenfell disaster, yep, that wasn't what you were thinking, was it? The second special that we did was about how we should focus our efforts in Ukraine on pushing for peace rather than allowing the war to escalate, rather than encouraging continued fighting. We should be sat at the peace table. And I know that everyone says, oh, well, Putin's not at the table, but so what if we're not there? makes no difference, does it? Unless we're encouraging both sides to attend, it makes no difference who isn't there because we're not there. And guess who agrees with me now? Henry Kissinger. Yeah, I know. Like, that's how radically left-wing I am. I'm as radically left-wing as Henry bloody Kissinger, who's come out this week and said that we are risking this whole situation escalating out of control, becoming World War Three, and we need to be doing more to push for peace talks. And believe you me, if Henry Kissinger thinks we need peace talks, we damn well need peace talks. So thanks so much for your support throughout the year, and I look forward to making lots more throughout the next year and being just as right and I really appreciate those who can afford to um, sponsoring me. It can cost as little as $12 a year if you pick the minimum sponsorship amount and limit your monthly sponsorship, but every single penny of it helps and supports us and enables us to fund what we're doing and present an alternative to a lot of the mainstream media who won't be talking about these stories, but will be talking about fluff and nonsense instead. See you soon.